Dear John, I am so very proud of you. I'm proud of you because I remember who you were this time last year, and I'm proud of how far you've come in the past 12 months. Do you remember this time last year? How you couldn't go through a single night without waking up in some emotional crisis? Or how you didn't go to class for two weeks? And how paralyzed and confused you felt just because of your own mind? It feels almost like another life. And when I wrote to you last in January, you were still going through this and I asked for just one thing. I asked you to be your own best friend. To care about yourself unconditionally and to respect yourself as you would respect your best friend. And of everything that you learned at 19, both in school, with your nose in books, in life, this was the most important lesson of all, and it's why I'm so proud of you. Because you learned how to be your own best friend. And there were setbacks, of course. I mean, there always are with mental health, but you have been going in the right direction. Things are so good compared to how they were, and they're pretty stable, and it feels like a good time to make another step forward. But this time, not out of desperation and sadness, but out of hope and potential. January was the turning point where things went from bad to good in your life. And I think that right now can be the turning point to go from good to great. But great as in greatness on your own terms. I want you to find greatness through justice and fulfillment in the challenges presented to you by your work. I want you to find greatness through love and respect and fun in your current relationships as well as in the cultivation of new relationships. I want you to find greatness through the joy of being your own best friend and in taking care of yourself in ways that you haven't before. This is greatness for you. It's not in making a bunch of money gaining followers, having a perfect GPA. Greatness for you lies in your approach to everyday challenges, to do great work, to have great relationships with others and with yourself, and to embrace these challenges which you will inevitably face as opportunities, not to avoid them as potential failures. Because truthfully, right now, it feels like you're almost scared to push yourself. Because where you are is good and you don't know what lies on the other side of that next step. I get it, you don't want to go back to a bad place again. But remember, I've got you. Whatever you do, however bad things seem, I'm always going to be there for you. And as long as I'm there, we will find a way to make things good. Because we're best friends, and that is what best friends are for. Remember, no paths worth taking are straight paths. Any worthwhile path will be full of setbacks, but we can handle those setbacks and not just endure them, but really benefit from them. The best lessons that you have learned in your life have come not from the successes, but from the failures. So conquer that fear to take those next steps. Because if you don't, you stay as you are. And you're good, and that's fine. But if you do conquer that fear and take those steps, then even if you fail, you become better. And that's the only way that you'll find greatness. So the question is not, why should you push yourself to take that risk, to take that next step? It's why not? You have the potential to not only be good, but to be great, to be really happy, really fulfilled, and really full of love. And there is no reason not to pursue that. So recognize your fear and conquer it and I'll be with you every step of the way. Your friend, John.